I'm Richard Taylor, it's dawn, it's just before 6am here at the Trumpington Road Park and Ride site in Cambridge and I've come here this morning for a first at 6.04am, the first direct bus will go from here to Cambridge train station. Uh, prior to this morning, the buses on this route have always taken a 10 minute diversion in the middle to go off to Annabrook's outpatients. The service to Annabrook's outpatients is being maintained at its original level, but a new service, the um, Busway R service, is being introduced to take people directly from this park and ride site into Cambridge Station. The bus will cost £3.20 return. I'm hoping to be able to buy a day rider on it, so that should cost £4.10 for a day's travel in the Cambridge area. And it costs people a pound to park at the park and ride sites, although people have to pay for that separately, either online or via the machines. So there's no integration between paying for the parking and paying for the bus. Um, but the um, cost of the parking and the bus together is favourable compared to the £9 something it costs to park for a day at peak time at this train station itself. So I think this service uh, might well be used by people who are commuting to London perhaps, as well as people who are working in the station area of Cambridge. It's certainly the kind of um, bus service that I would uh, like to use. It should be really reliable because it's entirely off-road, entirely on the guideway, um, apart from when the bus has to turn around at the other end at the uh, kind of uh, what used to be the roundabout in front of um, Cambridge Station. Now I've been invited to the official opening of this bus route. It's the first time I've been invited to the official opening of a bus route. And um, I've decided though not just to turn up at 10 o'clock for the official opening, uh, but to come here at uh, five past six in the morning to see what the service is really like um, when it first starts. Cambridge's Guided Busway now has the A, B, C, D and R services and the first of the R services is here on the screens now this morning, the 604 from Trumpington Park and Ride where I am, direct into Cambridge Station in five minutes. This is bus stop number three, uh, suggesting there are probably bus stops number one and two somewhere that I should probably find um, before four minutes past six in case the bus runs from those. The timetable says that the bus runs from stop number one um, back at Cambridge Station, and I know where that is, that's the um, prime position of bus stop uh, closest to the station, and um, quite where bus stops one and two are here at the park and ride, I don't yet know, but I've got a few minutes to find out. There's a great big sign here that says park and ride buses one way and busway services the other. So um, the new R service is clearly a busway service, so I want to go this way. So this is it, this is bus stop number one at the Trumpington Park and Ride. And I can see that the um, new bus service to the rail station is up on the um, LCD board there. And I think the um, new bus itself is probably coming in uh, right now. This is the bus which I think will become the 604 to Cambridge Station, the first um, R service on the guided busway, the direct route from Trumpington Park and Ride into Cambridge Station. Yes, we now have Busway R written on the uh, front of the bus that's here at Trumpington Park and Ride. So this will be the, uh, the first bus service doing the direct route from Trumpington Park and Ride here, uh, direct to the station in five minutes without taking the ten minute diversion to Annenbrooks. I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to buy a day rider on the bus or if I should, like other stops on the northern bus where I've used, if I've got to buy a ticket here with the machine before I get on. Um, it's not obvious um, what I need to do. Okay. Uh, very narrowly missed that and tried to buy a ticket on the bus. That would have been a faux pas for the first uh, direct service. Ticket. So the bus is now due to leave in about four minutes' time. I do wonder if I'm going to be the um, only passenger on the bus um, this morning. But you know, lots of people using the bus are kind of unnecessarily going off to Annabrooks. People being... Yeah, I think, yeah, we do get a lot of people from uh, to, that go to. Um, they want to go to the station. They want to go to the station. Yeah, exactly. So, are we going to, are there going to be uh, new buses on like for it or? No, we're using, not using these ones at the moment, the existing ones. Uh, but we have got new buses coming in September as well, so... Yeah. Is it a bit of a trial then, or do you think it's, it's definitely... It's, it's no, 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 this is... No, this is state, so...
So the new R service bus has now got to turn round at the um, kind of roundabout type thing that's in front of Cambridge Station and then return here to um, bus stop one to go back to Trumpingdon. One question is how easy will it be to turn that bus round when the front of the station is as it usually is later in the day full of taxis and people dropping off. It's now the first direct bus service from Cambridge Station back out to Trumpington Park and Ride. So I was the only passenger on the first service um, from Trumpington Park and Ride into Cambridge Station. I was also the only passenger on the way back and it looks as if the bus is going to go again with only one passenger on it um, on its uh, next journey. Oh, let's see how much the machine tries to charge me if I try and buy a return ticket to Cambridge Station. It doesn't actually offer me a return ticket. You get either a single or a day rider. So it's actually not clear. I can't seem to buy from this machine a £3.20 return, um, which I think is what the bus driver um, alerted the third ever passenger to. So you, you have to get on the bus if you want to buy your, your £3.20 return, because it only offers me a single or a day rider. A day rider is £4.20. No, so it's £4.10. Uh, it's now 10 to 7 here at the Trumpington Road Park and Ride site and the waiting room still isn't open and neither are the toilets. Now, when do you need a waiting room, warm place to wait more at a park and ride site like this than in, early in the morning? Like the buses are running through the night. There was a coach here when I arrived at about um, 5.30 or so this morning and we've had a number of the R services or other services getting underway. There are people here um, but the um, warm waiting room is closed. It uh, doesn't seem to make sense to me. So who turns up to the opening of a bus route? We've got the um, Cambridge Labour candidate, we've got the Mayor, uh, we've got a representative of Savills and a representative of Cambridge Ahead and a few other people. So we have got a bunch of people who turned up for this um, busway special or the um, opening of the bus route R. Here with um, Andy Campbell, the Managing Director of um, Stagecoach East to be on the, the um, opening of this um, new uh, busway route. Um, so why have you started um, Route. Is it to try and attract some new customers or is it that the existing customers wanted to get straight into the station? Well, it's really to attract new customers. Uh, what we were thinking is that we would run direct services that the houses got built at Great Night. Um, that's what big delays it didn't happen as quickly as we thought. But we got approached by Cambridge Ahead. They thought it was a good idea and we looked at the idea and with the confusion around the railway station at the moment. So who do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be serving commuters to London or do you think it's going to be serving people who are working in the station area? Both of them. I think the early morning will uh, get the commuters to London and the later services will pick up people that work around the station. And do you think we might attract more people to come to this park and ride perhaps rather than driving in? Um, by different routes to the station, is that the... I, I would hope so. Is it, uh, so you think we'll get some traffic back from the Hills Road? That's the idea. I mean, you can get stuck on station road for 10 minutes trying to get out in an evening. Um, why would you do that? Why do you do You can see it here and get back here and find so, so what's your view on the charging for the um, park and ride? Are you, are you unhappy that now there's a charge at the park and ride? I am unhappy. Um, we've lost 12% of the first since that happened. Um, I don't think it's a good 
don't necessarily think it's directly related to the pound. I think the ticket machine is complicated. So, so you, you, you have no control. The ticket machine is accounted for. You have no control of that. And what about the, the separation and the fact you've got to buy two tickets, one for parking, one for the bus? Is that accounted for as well? Well, you, you can actually get your ticket from the ticket machine. Like, uh, okay, so, so the signage here doesn't it doesn't tell me that. It seems to suggest I've got to go to one place for uh, car parking. It says on all the car parking things, it says don't buy your bus ticket here. And you go to the bus machine and it says bus ticket. So well, unfortunately here you've got two systems. You've got the parking rights system and those ticket machines allow you to park and pay people for And you've got the bus machine. So yes, it's complicated. There's no one machine where I can get, get the busway ticket and the park paper parking, no. But on the parking wide machines, you can't do both, which I didn't, I didn't realise that, but I've looked at them. And, um, and yeah, we've got a slight issue this morning with no return tickets. This is supposed to be slightly cheaper return than normal, isn't it? Um, so a lot of returns around Cambridge are just the day ride by Sunday. That must be intentional, is it? No, it's always my experience, isn't it? No. Within the city, um, we don't do return tickets. Or day rider. Or day yeah, so, so it's day actually a day rider is the return. Day yes. rider is usually the cheapest option. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, so but the this county council issue that you've got to get this three pound twenty return on the on, onto the machines, and they should have done it by this morning. It should have been done. I don't know why it hasn't been done, but the ticket is still available for the driver. Yeah. So it is a bit of a, a problem. If, there are things that are available from the driver that aren't available on the machine. Is that just a problem today or is that a general thing? That Hopefully that's just a problem that's just today, which probably the council will resolve. Because one problem I've got with buses is that often there are these little things like you can get something if you know what to ask for. And I think I'm not aware of it. On Milton Road, yeah. the park and ride buses are not supposed to stop going down Milton Road, but in practice they do. No, they're supposed to stop at the side of the Right, yeah. uh, so that's on the busway. So when they come off, off the busway, I think they're then supposed to go right down to um, almost the other end of um, Milton Road. Um, but in practice, during the day, they will stop. On the way I think yours wants to, your ones do too. Um, I'm going to show you the door. Um, well, my, my experience, it seems to me that there's some, there's, there are things on the road which are not on the timetable. Because on the timetable, I'm only supposed to get the number nine stopping uh, anywhere other than at the side of the busway and at the other end. And we'll have a little bit here as well. But, uh, but my experience is that actually the buses do stop. And the park and ride stops, whether it's 6 o'clock or 6.30 at now, it's got a dog stop. But other than that, yeah, he, he wouldn't stop on Milton Road other than that. And what about what's supposed to be happening on this one? Because I noticed on the radio this morning and um, on the trip here, we stopped on at uh, one of the intermediate stops. Oh, right. So, so that, that, that is the, the plan is to stop at the intermediate stops? Well, one intermediate stops. only a very few words, me and Matt have turned to Kenny It's great we have an idea that actually works really well. And it was only in December that we had the intention of the idea that maybe there's something to do with transport. We did a, we did a survey which said that uh, there's a massive spike where people in Cambridge think that transport is a key issue and it's putting people off. What could we do about it? Well, we are looking at long-term things, but we had an idea to look at some short-term things. And we went to see Andy Campbell at Stagecoach and we had this idea of using the underused um, guided bus route to the station. Andy, to his huge credit, said, well, that's a good idea. And uh, we spoke to the council and they said, well, that's a good idea. So from April, uh, from sorry, December through to late April, here we are, and now it's running. So it just shows that you can make a difference if you just apply it and the goodwill on all sides. And clearly there was goodwill on all sides here. So uh, my plea to you all is uh, to shout about it. Because it's a bit like the, uh, the post office. As, as good as Andy is, he's running a business, and it's a bit like the post office. You use it or you lose it. So could we all encourage people to uh, use this service, and then hopefully we can encourage Andy to get it running even more frequently. But uh, big thanks to Andy, and thank you all for coming.
So we were told there that the county council is supporting this new service. Um, I asked Andrew Campbell, the managing director of Stagecoach, um, how they were supporting it, and he told me that they're actually um, not charging an access fee for the busway and um, while this service gets started. So that, that's quite significant because the county council does charge, I think, around £600,000 a year to the bus companies, essentially as a toll, as an access charge, so that they can use the busway. So they are waiving that um, while this um, new service gets started. So that, that's the uh, county council's contribution. But of course, the county council haven't done so well on um, getting their ticket machines um, working and selling the right tickets for this service this morning.